tight ends look, and obviously you guys, are, everybody's going to see OJ and what he's able to do, but you have a pretty deep unit this year, mm -hmm. it seems like. Yes, we are. Yeah, we, we have a lot of um, talent. You know, we have some veteran guys like OJ, you mentioned, Brandon Green. Um, and we have a lot of really good young guys, too. And we also have a, you know, a depth at the walk-on position, too. So all of our tight ends, you know, are really bought into the process. We're really, you know, honing our skills, learning, you know, everything we need to do in order to become a successful unit. And, uh, you know, we've really progressed uh, great during camp and throughout the summer. So it should, should be a good year. Has this fall camp been different for you? Obviously, now that you have a little more experience, you know kind of what's expected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it definitely, the second year really helps. It can mean your freshman year, you know, it's all kind of a shock, especially if you came in in May, because, you know, that's the first time you put on pads. And so that, that's, that second experience for me has really helped out a lot, just becoming more comfortable, you know, to the elements, to, you know, the plays, to, to, you know what we do in practice you know it really helped me out a lot and um, you know it became became easier um, the quarterbacks obviously a lot of people have been talking about the quarterbacks what have you seen from them in fall game you know they're all very very talented um, you know I'm just here you know to catch passes and do everything I can to uh, to help them all succeed but you know that's it's not really my answer to say you know who's who's the best right now so I wanted to ask you obviously first game in AT&T Stadium you guys had experience in AT&T Stadium twice last mm -hmm. year um, do you think that that helps you this mm -hmm. year you know what that stadium plays like you know how big it is and how loud it can I, get yeah you know it, it does help that we've been there before you know we know what uh, what goes into it you know where to where the locker rooms are at, things like that. Just every little thing that's helping us become more familiar with where we play at, because that is a big factor, you know? It, it tends to be less of an away game and more of a situation we've been in before, you know? And so that will help us just become more familiar um, with our surroundings, and you know, it won't lead to such a shock factor and that we can just get there and get down to business. Anything different about playing in that stadium? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Jumbotron is, is huge. Um, that takes your breath away the first time you've seen it, but since we've been there twice already, it shouldn't be as big as a factor now. And um, you know, we should be able to get there and just do what we got to do. Yeah, so, tight end, what kind of ball do you like to catch? Oh, um, I mean, a catchable one, preferably. But uh, uh, like my favorite routes would be like a, anything where you have to like kind of go up and get it. You know, those are the most fun. Anything where it's contested and you have to, you know, show off your skills and go up and get it would be my favorite ball to catch. Practices so far, how do you guys feel they're going? You're kind of in the dog days of, uh, of summer right now. Yeah, right now it's just more about uh, seeing where everybody could play at. It's just trying to teach the younger kids or the young players, uh, see where they could play at and just trying to get them, get them more comfortable with the system. And then we're also seeing the older guys where they could also like play extra positions and stuff like that and just trying to uh, just get a feel for everybody and, and uh, establish like who could do what right now. You're just over two weeks away from the start of the season. How soon do you guys start thinking and preparing about for USC? Um, you know, we, we've been watching film on them, like just individually, like not as a team, but as individuals. We've been watching film, breaking it down, and uh, you know they're a great team. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun to play them. But uh, as a team, I think uh, after next week's practice, we start we start uh, we start focusing on it, focusing on them. Is it a little tempting, maybe, when when you're going through these practices and you are watching a little bit of film to start thinking about that game, or maybe? You know, a little I mean, I, I don't think it's a negative thing to think about the game because you know I'm I'm excited for the game, but like you said, you got to uh, be where your feet are and just focus on uh, uh, finishing and, and executing these next couple practices, and then the game will roll around. Mika, coach has talked a little bit about how you're going to have to maybe play star corner and maybe multiple positions. Is that? been something you've been focusing on this fall? Is it something that's been a challenge for you? Um, you know, it is a challenge to play two positions, but, you know, Coach said that he thinks I could, I could do it, and I've been doing a pretty, a pretty good job of it. And, uh, you know, I came in as a corner, so I, it's not like it's some, some new position to me, and I played uh, star last year. So, you know, it's a, it's, it's a challenge, but I just see it as an opportunity to, to show my versatility and uh, my athleticism. Does that give you a level of confidence when you know he's maybe pushing you to do something like this, trusts you mm -hmm. to take on this responsibility? Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. Just, just trust. He trusts me as a player. And I know even though I might have some, make, make some mistakes, I'm still going to try and try my best to do my job the right way. The rest of the secondary, um, how's it been looking for you, for you guys? You obviously have a lot of talent mm -hmm. coming back and some really key players. How's the depth looking? Um, you know, we're, that's what we're trying to establish right now, just trying to see where our younger players can play and uh, 
see who can fill what role. And uh, like you said, we're experienced but young at the same time. So it's, so we're just trying to uh, see what people could play at and see who could do what. Having played at AT and T Stadium twice last year, do you think that gives you guys an advantage this year? Oh, um, you know, I, I, I don't really know. I, I don't, I don't think so. But uh, you know, it's a, it's a great stadium for a whole lot of fun to play in, and uh, you know, it's gonna be real exciting. What's uh, unique about that stadium? Uh, just I've never been in a stadium one that big. Uh, I played at, at the Giants Stadium before for my state championship game, but it was a whole lot different. Just, just it looked a whole lot more modern, and and you know it's Cowboy Stadium, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's something that that you dream about. As well as you last played one. last year, where do you think you've improved that as a player the most? Um, well, I think I improved that the most. Just paying attention to the small details. Last year I was really out there. Uh, I was trying to get comfortable with the system, and now this year I'm just focusing on the, all the small details that's going to help me with my game and increase my, my technique and my uh, help me use my athleticism more rather than thinking. All right, thanks, Minka.